Hi everyone! In this video I'll be going over Lyme disease nursing care as well as the cause, pathophysiology, and signs and symptoms. Lyme disease is typically caused by the spirochete bacteria Borrelia burgdorferi. In rare cases it can also be caused by Borrelia mayoni. These bacteria can be transmitted through the bite of an infected tick. The majority of the time, the tick has to be attached for at least 36 to 48 hours before the bacteria may be spread. The spirochete infection triggers inflammatory cytokines and autoimmune responses. The first stage symptoms may appear days to months after the bite. Fever, headaches, fatigue, and an erythema migrans like rash are typical symptoms during this stage. A few things to note about the rash is that it can start as a small red pimple, then spread into a ring-shaped rash, also known as bullseye rash. This rash may be large or small and manifest anywhere on the body, not just the area of the tick bite. In some cases, there may be more than one rash or no rash at all. If left untreated and in later stages, Lyme disease can cause cardiac, neurological, and joint complications. Cardiac symptoms include palpitations and irregular heartbeat. Neurological complications include facial palsy, nerve pain, brain and spinal cord inflammation, and peripheral neuropathy. Joint pain and swelling as well as arthritis may also manifest. If you're finding value in this video, then please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And check out the link in the description to purchase an instant digital download of the immune system and disorders nursing notes, which includes written notes on Lyme disease. If a patient comes in with a tick still attached, then you will want to grasp the tick as closely to the skin surface as you can with fine tip tweezers. Apply consistent, even pressure as you pull up. Never jerk or twist the tick. Use rubbing alcohol or soap and water to thoroughly clean the bite site once the tick has been removed. Put a live tick in rubbing alcohol or a tightly closed container or bag. Save the tick to identify the species and level of engorgement, which are important aspects in assessing whether a person qualifies for Lyme disease prophylaxis. Four to six weeks after a bite, a blood test should be performed to detect for the presence of the disease. Testing before this point is unreliable since the tests are meant to detect antibodies, which might take several weeks to develop. Give the patient instructions on how to take their antibiotics as prescribed, which are started right away. With a few weeks of antibiotics, the majority of Lyme disease cases are effectively treated. You should also educate the patient regarding Lyme disease prevention methods. Tell the patient to stay away from tick infested regions such as woodland green areas, especially during the summer. Wear long sleeves, long pants, closed toed shoes, and caps while outdoors. Apply tick repellent to their body before going outside and check their body for ticks once they return inside. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic rest of the day.